Detroit Lake is a popular reservoir for Oregon boating, spanning Marion and Lynn counties. We are low water levels. We're about 22 feet or so from full pool. Lucas Lunsky manages the Detroit Lake Marina, which made a tough decision this week. We're just having to shut our docks down early because there's only about three and a half feet underneath our shallowest area. The marina posted on Facebook, all boats need to be out by July 11th. Drought is a big factor. Dustin Bankston with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said this in May. It is personally uh, the driest spring I've seen. I think it's one of the driest springs, you know, on record. Adding to the challenge is the Detroit Dam. Under a new plan this year, the Army Corps of Engineers is keeping reservoir levels lower. The idea is less water means less pressure on the spillway gates, which could breach in the event of a big earthquake. This year, that means five fewer feet of water, but drought and less snowmelt overall are still the biggest problems. And although rentals are fully booked at the marina, Lucas Lunsky knows water levels dictate when he can keep it open. For us to move and set our docks for winter, we need to make sure we have enough water to get them upriver. <laughs> Local marinas reopened just about a month ago, newly repaired after wildfires destroyed much of Detroit, Oregon last year. These businesses represent a community coming back to life. It's unfortunate that we're having to close down soon because a lot of people are finally just getting their summer started. Detroit Lake Marina's online post got hundreds of responses, including this one from Mary Ann. When I think of what it must have taken to rebuild and be ready for customers in eight months, only to suffer another blow, Hopefully, you can feel the virtual blanket of empathy from all of us. And even though his marina won't be open long, Lucas hopes people still enjoy the lake and support his neighbors. It is open and it's still beautiful. Water is really warm and uh, just hope that people still will come back uh, even though we have low water. Galen Etlin, KGW News.